Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today I'll be quickly showing you um, some uh, tactics that people could do, and uh, you're going to use my site as a template, and I'm going to be showing uh, all you webmasters out there how to actually generate more clicks for your advertisements. Uh, I don't like these tactics because I don't like interfering with my content. If you see any of my posts, you'll automatically be able to identify the fact that there are no advertisements in my content. I've specifically set it up that way because I don't like advertisements to get in the way of my viewing. If I'm reading something, I don't want advertisements there. They can be below, they could be uh, in boxes, they could be right next to it all the time, they could be floating on the side. I don't care about that. I just don't want them in the content. So right here, uh, we grab one of my sample articles, and um, as you can see, all my advertisements are over here. Uh, let me give you some quick uh, things about this. All my advertisements are in a box labeled advertisement. I do this because I'm not allowed to mislabel them, or I will lose it. I will lose my uh, part. I'll lose my AdSense account. But um, what you can do is there's actually quite a few tactics you can do. Uh, AdSense uh, it comes with ad. There are three, two different types of advertisements. There's uh, your uh, media ads slash uh, text ads, which are co which come to rate together, and they're like this. This is a text ad. This is a text ad. This is a media ad. They're in the same category. You can only have three of those on one site at a time. Those are the limit. If you have any more, don't worry. If you misplace code, don't worry about it. They will block one. They always block the fourth one. And then um, the last one are uh, link ads like these. These link ads uh, will are just meant to be clicks. There are no CPM. I get no revenue from people viewing these. It's all from when they click on them. And then I have more ad units, and uh, they're right here. And uh, I didn't do this to be misleading. It's because uh, Discus comes with the ability called uh, Elevated Discovery. There's uh, Discovery, uh, Discovery Revenue, and then there's Elevated Discovery and Revenue. This one comes with both. Uh, what makes this different? Discus, uh, when it's elevated all the way up to the max, this is the maximum revenue, it puts these ads right here, the around the web, right below the post. So that way they're always seen as opposed to being at the bottom of this where nobody can see them. I also like this better because it's the only way I can actually get my content to be shown above the fold, above this comments thing, so that way it doesn't disappear. Which I kind of thought was stupid in the first place, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm not going to nitpick, it's fine, it's all fine. But um, here's how you can generate more revenue doing simple tactics. Um, place advertisements inside the content. What do I mean by this? Um, advertisements such as the link units and uh, text units like this actually fit very well. Media ad units are actually proven to be less successful in here. Uh, why is this? Uh, these text ad, these link ads right here, doing like a, uh, uh, what was it, 928 by 32 or something like that? I don't know. I don't know the exact dimensions, but you put one of those advertisements inside of here, and it's going to blend in. Uh, keep like a little border around it. You'll have no issues because it's within a border, and there's differences to point it out as opposed to it blending into where uh, it could in make uh, invalid clicks. Uh, if you do this though, your users may get less fr more frustrated, and they're more likely to have a you'll have a higher bounce rate. A higher bounce rate is something that all webmasters feel. A bounce rate is the percentage of people that come to your site but don't interact with it at all. So if they don't click on anything, like if you don't click on my buttons and sign up here, nothing will happen, and it doesn't get counted. You're, you bounced off the page. You came here, you saw, you left. You didn't interact. So that's why people add uh, this, like the add this smart layers. I have all these floating things to make it to where people are more interactive. And even my regular readers, I keep this here, and I want to explain to you why does I do certain things. I don't want to make it look misleading or make me look like a bad person. I'm trying to explain to you why I do certain things and how I keep the site from being cluttered and without too many advertisements. Also, none of my advertisements are misleading. I purposely put them in these boxes because I don't care as much for the revenue. I want to have the reading as the main focus. Uh, so, advertisements in here work great. Uh, you see right here, like on my, I have my date, my name, and the share buttons. You can replace these share buttons with a link unit. Link units perform very well. The link units only perform well within the content and at the very bottom of a post. Like, uh, you see these related posts right here that I'm hovering? This would be a great place, great place for a link unit. I like related posts, though, because I want to increase, I want to decrease the bounce rate, and I want to give my uh, readers more content to view. It's all okay, though? It's all okay. So, we're over here, and now we have this. We got our related post, and we have these recommended posts. 
but we have no ads in the content. And um, here's what I would do. If you just had a generic site, and it would, but that means I'm going to remove this. I don't have this. We're just going to say I don't have this, and I don't have this little bar here. I only have this title. I don't even have these. I only have the title and the content and the content. That's all I have. Let's just say that's all I have. Where would you place an ad unit? If I took this article, where would I place an ad unit? i place one directly above, below the title. The title is one of the main focus points. It's what everybody looks at first. So what you can do is you can place one right, right underneath the title. Give it some spacing, of course, to reduce misclicks. Uh, fraudulent clicks right there. Well, that'd be if you clicked them. Avoid, the, uh, avoid those misclicks, and then it'll increase your revenue because people will be able to see the ad units as opposed to at the very bottom of the page kind of insulting my own layout to kind of explain things. It's very strange. We're gonna roll with it though. Now after this, uh, where else would you place one? I'd place one in the middle of the content. You can do this, you can try to do this manually through your CSS, or you can do it manually on every single post, because Blogger, or whatever software you use, WordPress allows the addition of uh, JavaScript inside of the post. Doesn't work well in the preview of when you're typing things. Doesn't matter though. And I believe it may just no, it's JavaScript. Of course it is. It works, though. It'll display properly inside the post. But remember, you can't have any more than three of those link units. Otherwise, they don't show up anymore. So that's a great way to get more revenue. Having one at the bottom of the post. After you end that post, users are looking for a way out. Um... After someone reads a post, there's two things that they'll do. They'll either look for something else on... Well, there's a couple things they can do. We'll just say, like, we'll give you three right now. Uh, they'll look for more content on your site. They'll leave a comment, or they'll leave the page right away. Readers want to stay entertained. So, therefore, having ads at the bottom of it gives them another thing to do. So, if I have a gratis antivirus software, let's just say I have this, and I place that at the bottom, and someone's going to see that, like, hey... That sounds interesting. They're going to click on it, and they don't even know if it's an article or not. They're just going to click on it to find out what it is. It keeps them interested. So they, let's just say they clicked on it, and now they go over there. They find this product. They like the product. They buy it. Then they find that the links can be useful, and will continue to use that tactic. It doesn't always work with every people. There's something called banner blindness, and uh, in case you don't know what banner blindness is, it's a uh, basically, how do I put this? As where a person develops blindness to banners, so this would be ignored, this is ignored, and this is ignored. Everybody ignores these. They won't click on them because they know their advertisements. People don't want to click on advertisements when they know their advertisements. Kind of defeats the purpose of this. I don't care, though. I try to keep all content away from advertisements, and all advertisements away from content. It's been working for me. So, let's just continue. Advertisements in the middle of the content. Great way to generate uh, cost per click. Downside, you generate more hate. Hate. You hate the hate. Hater to hater. <laughs> That's why I have these here. Don't generate a lot of money. Don't get in the way either. It's a great way. It's great for everybody. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much why I keep all my advertisements out because I don't like having uh, content interfered by advertisements. They're obnoxious. And I do click on advertisements. Some people think, oh, you're one of those that never clicks on. I will click on it if I'm genuinely interested. I will click on them only if I'm genuinely interested. And if you're using like stupid ads from Chitika and Yahoo, which I have no clue what I'm looking for, you're not helping. I use Google, therefore I they track what I search and then they give me ads based on it. Love that idea. Ads, I, I will click on ads for it. Very rarely do I see ads like on CNET that I like, nor do I wish to give them the extra revenue. Not that I have a hatred towards them, I just hate the things that they've done. And that's what kind of annoys me. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for, the, for another video. If you have any questions relating to this, my site, or my or uh, ways to optimize your site for advertisements, please post them in the comments below, and I will try to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.